to like the shots were like 32 to 31. Close game. Tommy just played better.
Check, check.
At this time, we ask everyone to rise and make you your hat. Good evening, Rustlers fans. Welcome to Wainwright for Wainwright Rustlers postseason action. Thank you for joining us tonight for game two of the opening round of the postseason between the Wainwright Rustlers and the Meadow Lake Broncos. The Rustlers got off to a good start in their postseason last night, heading to Meadow Lake, Saskatchewan, and picking up a big 6 0 victory in game one to set the tone in this best of five series. They're gonna look to keep that rolling here in game two on home ice. Thomas Eisenman in goal for your rustlers tonight. Jared LaFond on the other end of the ice, manning the crease for the Broncos. And we are about ready to go here for playoff action as these two teams continue their journey towards 
a hopeful Sask out to Senior Hockey League Championship. Rustlers win the opening draw of this one. Carson James swings it around in behind the Broncos goal. LaFon comes out, plays around the boards. It does clear the zone. The Rustlers have to tag up. They pick it up here in the neutral zone. Carson James carries across the blue line in his wrist shot. Kicked away by LaFon into the corner, and the Broncos come the other way. From the right wing, that sharp angle shot misses the net. Scoots its way out to the point. And the Broncos centering pass is picked off there by Spencer Goslin. Goslin, the captain, picked up a pair of goals last night in the victory on the road. And now the wrestlers will have a golden opportunity here as they get a power play just 37 seconds into this one. It's a cross-checking penalty to Shane Hounsell. He's going to head to the box for two or, few, two or less. It's Watson, Shirley, and Dicker out there for this first power play of the night. Fletcher and Berg on the back end. The wrestler is able to keep it inside the blue line. A quick shot from Watson. But the save made by LaFond, and the Broncos able to clear the zone. Berg lost in his skates for a minute there, giving the Broncos a chance to pick it up here shorthanded. Looking for an opportunity here. And we're going to get a whistle here, and the wrestler's first power play opportunity will be short-lived as they're going to Go to four on four hockey here. We got a high sticking penalty against Wyatt Watson. And as we're exactly one minute into this opening period, we go to some four on four hockey and a face off in the wrestler's end. They win it here. Horn slides it forward to Leggett. He picks it up with some speed down the right wing. Wrestlers working into the offensive zone. They're not able to control it for too long. Broncos pick it up. Work it out to center ice. Wainwright steals it right back, though. Goslin with a nice little feed over to Perkins. His wrist shot goes wide of the net, hits the edge of the dashboard, pops way up in the sky and hits the netting. So we'll get a face off here. Now the Broncos with the face-off win. Quickly move it up ice. That is swatted away by Fletcher. Carson James picks it up in front of the wrestler's bench, carries it across the blue line, fires a wrist shot, but right in the belly of LaFon. He holds on to that one easily, and we're going to get a face-off here. Connor James with a long shot from the point goes wide of the net. And now from the corner, the Broncos played in behind their own net. Russler is quickly chasing it down. Fletcher picks it up just inside the blue line. Somehow able to hold on to it. Now we got a battle along the boards right in front of the Zamboni doors. Hamilton comes away with it. Now Connor James steps in, goes to his backhand, trying to feed it in front, but couldn't get enough on that. LaFond able to scoop it up and hold on for a faceoff. Broncos with possession off the draw. Take their time moving up ice. They work it through the neutral zone, cross the blue line. It's Newfeld looking for a sharp angle shot. Eisman with the save, and he pokes it forward to a teammate, Clausen. He's able to clear the zone on the backhand. Newfeld with it once again. Drives a cross ice pass, but nobody was there. Berg's going to chase it down, and it's going to be just deep enough for icing. 
The wrestlers catch a bit of a break there. They come all the way down the ice. I'll be back. Nine seconds remaining in this Broncos power play. We apologize for the uh, bit of a choppy video feed right now, but we're working on getting that improved. Watson standing, ready to come on the ice, and here he is. As we're back to full strength hockey, three minutes into this first period in a scoreless game. Dicker picks it up along the boards, takes a couple whacks at it, not able to find the teammate. Broncos come away with it. They play it to neutral ice, but Horn was there to send it in deep once again. Gosselin now picks off a pass, carries across the blue line himself, tries to leave it for Dicker. But Ashton McIntyre was right there waiting for that pass. Dicker steals it back, though. Feeds it down low to Watson. He goes to the back end, but can't get it up and over the left pad of LaFond. Great save made there to keep this a scoreless game. Rustlers with their best scoring chance of the night so far early on in this game. Broncos win the draw now and try to work it up the boards, but Lishka put a stop to that in a hurry. Now Leggett applying some pressure on the floor check. Russell's not able to keep it in the blue line as Fletcher hopped over his stick, but he gets it back in his own territory. Works it across to Connor James. Back to Fletcher, and now Perkins has it on the right wing. He sends it into the offensive zone. And now we're going to get an offside call here as the puck had just bounced over the blue line. Fletcher couldn't keep it onside, so we get a stoppage here. I mentioned earlier, Goslin with a pair of goals in yesterday's 6-0 victory, including the what, was, what stood as the game-winning goal. It was scored just a minute into the first period. Other goal scores last night, Mike Shirley, Nick Norman, Carson James, and Wyatt Watson all got on the scoreboard. The wrestlers spread the love around offensively in that one-sided affair on the road. Now the Broncos dump it in right on goal. Rebound ends up in the corner. They chase it down. But a good job there by Bailey to whack that one away. Couldn't clear the zone, though. Lawson tries to ring it around from behind the net. He couldn't clear the zone either, but now Berg is going to be able to do so. And the Broncos try to dump it in. Clawson was able to knock that down. And now Norman picks it up at center ice, plays it in behind the net, goes for a line change. Straight up the middle of the ice is the Broncos. But a good defensive play there by Josh Berg to break that up. Wrestler's not able to clear the zone, though. And now from the point, that long shot knocked down by Eisman. The rebound ends up on a wrestler's stick. It's Cody Woodward trying to go through the middle of the ice. But it got knocked away from him. Now Brad Bailey gets his pocket picked. And Arnold has the puck now. He slides it over to McIntyre, but he's not able to hold... Hold on to that rolling puck. Now Bailey chips it off the boards and out into the neutral zone. The Broncos will try again, but we're going to get a whistle here. That's going to be a too many men penalty against the visiting squad. So the wrestlers will go back to the power play. Hopefully this one lasts a little longer than that 15-second power play they had to start the game. Watson with it to start the power play. He works it down low to Dicker. In the far corner, he slides it back up to Watson. He walks it up to the point. 
Nice sauce pass over to James and one time touch pass from Goslin back to Watson. He winds and fires a wrist shot right in the chest of the goaltender. He holds on to that one. These two teams met twice in the regular season, each team winning on their own home ice. Russell's winning 7-4 in November here in Wainwright, and the Broncos returning the favor with a 5-2 victory on their home ice in January. The Russell's doing their best to make quick work of this opening best of five series which they lead 1-0 at the moment. Meadow Lake able to clear the puck all the way down the ice. Eisman comes out, plays a stretch pass to Shirley, feeds it back to Connor James, now back to Shirley, but it was just out of his reach. The Broncos able to clear it once again as we're halfway through this wrestler's power play. Hamilton drops it there for Berg. He goes cross ice looking for Carson James, but it's just out of his reach, and that's going to be an icing call on the power play. And we'll get a face off down in Wainwright territory on the Eisenman's left hand side here. It's Hamilton in for the draw against McIntyre, a pair of 17s at the face off dot right now. And McIntyre wins it. A quick shot on goal is kicked away by Eisman. And the wrestler is able to pick up the rebound. Hamilton flips it over to Carson James, but he gets his pocket picked. Hounsell coming in and firing a shot from the right wing. Eisman got a glove on it, but wasn't able to hold on to it. Now the Broncos keep the puck in deep and kill time off this penalty kill of theirs. Three wrestlers in there against one Bronco, and the wrestlers do. Come away with it. Hamilton now through the neutral zone. Plays it in deep. Carson James on the other side of the ice to pick it up, but tries to kick it to a teammate in the high slot, but that one got picked off. And now it's Logan Pethick coming down, firing a shot just wide. Broncos able to keep it in the zone. And Pethick's going to battle for it in behind the net now. CPCA outrider. Poking away at the puck against a couple rustlers there, but Goslin comes away with it. Plays it up to Lishka. He sends it in deep. He'll chase it down himself. But he can't get there in time. The clearing attempt by the Broncos took a weird bounce off the glass. The wrestler is not able to take advantage. Nearly got themselves another power play there with too many men. But luckily for the Broncos, they didn't touch the puck in front of their own bench during the line change. And play goes on. Good hustle by Clausen. Keeps the puck inside the blue line. Broncos come away with it. Work it in deep. Eisman's going to come out behind his net. Leaves it there for Fletcher. Up to Clausen. Nice little through pass to leg it. Down the right wing, he crosses the blue line, tries to put one in towards the goal, but it got knocked down before it could get there. And now Puck rolls up into the blue paint, and that one's held onto by LaFond for another faceoff. And some rough stuff in there around the crease, because the Broncos weren't too happy that Leggett was standing right on the doorstep looking for a loose puck. Looks like the officials are going to going to send Nick Norman to the box for sure. We'll see. They're not sending any Broncos. It's a one-way trip. And the wrestlers back on the penalty kill once again as Nick Norman's going to go to the box. I didn't see a signal, but I'm going to assume two minutes for roughing. Hamilton wins the draw for the wrestlers, and that penalty kill off to a hot start. As Berg's able to clear it all the way down the ice. Carson James in on the four check. The Broncos 
Avoid that pressure. And now Pethic along the half wall, drops it back to the point. Rasti sends it in deep. But Wainwright able to pick up the puck and flip it way up in the air and down the ice. Rasti with a stretch pass right up the middle. Arnold wasn't able to control it cleanly. Did get it back and got a sharp angle shot off, but it was wide of the net. And now he picks it up again behind the net, works it out front. But Cole Horn is able to pick it up and clear it down the ice. We've got one minute remaining in the Norman penalty. McIntyre down the left side, tries to drop it. He's out of the reach of Arnold. Now a chance here from sharp angle on the right side. And Eisman in a great position to make the save and hold on for the faceoff. Wrestlers win the draw here. Fletcher swings around the boards. Boston tried to chip away at it to clear the zone. Couldn't do so, and the Broncos get it in deep again. Fletcher sends it around the boards. Boston's there to pick it up. He'll send it down the ice right on goal, and LaFon comes out to stop that and leave it there for his defenseman, Kale Lajeunesse. Now Horst down the right wing. It gets knocked off his stick. Connor James making a good defensive play as he clears the zone once again. And we got just 10 seconds left in this Norman penalty. Now Dicker with a good play to force a turnover in the offensive zone. But too many Broncos in the area and they steal the puck right back. But it gave the wrestlers a chance to get a, some fresh legs on the ice. And now Watson chases it down in the far corner. Looking for a centering pass, but there's nothing there. And it comes back up to the point. Horn picks it up there, works it in low. His wrist shot looked like he got blocked before it reached the net. And now he gets it back along the half wall. Works it into the corner. Slams in the break. Spins around and a centering pass right in front of the net. Was swatted away. And the Broncos trying to clear the zone, but Goslin got there first. His teammates in desperate need of a line change, though, as half of them were on their way to the bench already. So they have to regroup near their own blue line. And now Goslin down the left wing has some space. Fires a shot right in the chest of LaFon and he holds on for a face-off giving the wrestlers a chance to complete their line change. Seven minutes, 43 seconds left in this opening period of game two in this best of five opening round of the playoffs. Still scoreless as these two teams battle it out in an all-important game two. Long shot from just inside the blue line is swallowed up by Eisman. We'll get another face off here. Broncos win the draw here. Lajones puts a shot towards the goal, but it was well wide. And now in the corner, Connor James battling for it without a stick. The Broncos come away with it. And a good chance there for McIntyre, but Eisenman with a good save at the top of the crease. Could stifle that opportunity.
Well, the Broncos from the point. That shot was blocked by Hamilton. He quickly works it up ice to Carson James. He crosses the blue line just barely onside. Steps around one defender. Can't step around the second. Fletcher puts a shot on or towards the goal that was up and over the net. And now the Broncos pick up the loose puck, come the other way. McIntyre puts a weak shot on net. Eisman kicks it away. The wrestler is able to clear the zone. Now clearing attempt goes all the way down the ice. No icing there. And Eisman jumps on that to freeze it and avoid any trouble from the Broncos for check. Good shot blocked by Dicker there on a heavy shot from the point. Now he'll chase it down in the corner. Plays it off the wall to Watson. Dicker gets it back himself. The bouncing puck. All he can do is take a whack at it. It ends up on Watson's stick. He goes across the ice. And a good chance there for Shirley, but the shot was blocked. It was a wide open net. Now Bailey on the left wing steps around the sliding defender, and his shot gets blocked in the low slot. Now Shirley with it in the corner. Plays it up to the point to Berg. Berg sends a wrist shot on that, looking for a tip. Dicker couldn't get a stick on it. And now Shirley in the corner. He's got no stick, so he just kicks it down low. Dicker chases it down there. The Broncos get a hold of it, but they can't clear the zone. Berg stands his ground. And a shot from the point was deflected a couple times, but ended up wide of the net. And LaFon holds on to that one for a face-off. We've got 5.42 remaining in this first period. Still scoreless in a good back-and-forth game. We've seen power play opportunities on both sides, but some good goaltending has kept this a scoreless game so far. Broncos send it in deep. They aren't able to do much with it. The wrestlers come away with it. It's Norman. Sends it in right on goal from the neutral zone. Ends up picking up the clearing attempt. And now Horn with a hard shot that went high over the net. Goslin able to keep it inside the blue line. Gets it to Norman. He sends it to the front of the net. Couldn't get a redirect there from Dorland. And Horn in a battle now along the wall. The Broncos come away with it. Flip it up in the air. And down towards the wrestler's blue line. We're going to get a whistle here. The referee's arm up in the air. And looks like it's going to be a penalty on, on Horn. I don't think he knows he's getting a penalty. He went to the player's bench. Now he jumps back on the ice and makes his way over to the box. It's going to be two minutes for holding. The wrestler's back on the penalty kill once again for the third time in this opening period. Video stream smooth once again. We're going to cut out on the video for a quick second here, and hopefully it'll be back up shortly, but should still have the, the audio available, so I'll keep you up to date on what's happening here as Connor James...